In this video, we'll be talking about idiopathic short stature or use of growth hormone in children who are not necessarily growth hormone deficient based on the testing. FDA approved use of growth hormone in children who are less than one percentile of the entire population or otherwise known as minus 2.25 standard deviation. If so, if your child is extremely small, even if the growth hormone testing come back as normal, sometimes we'll be able to start the child on growth hormone therapy. However, getting an insurance approval to do this therapy is extremely difficult and there's almost uh, impossible sometimes to start on therapy. While we might write the letter of medical necessity to get the growth hormone, uh, we have no guarantee to tell you that the child will be on growth hormone. Mm. So you have to keep that in mind. Sometimes you might have to go for a second opinion and sometimes we have to do a growth hormone stimulation test repeated again. However, FDA approval does not mean it's an insurance approval. Something I would like you to remember. I, like in another video where I mentioned about side effects, idiopathic short stature as well, will use of growth hormone will have the same side effect and in particular, we have to look at insulin resistance in these children because here uh, your growth hormone testing is coming back as normal and you're giving more growth hormone on top of all the growth hormone which is already available. In the next video, I'll be talking about some of the syndromes which are associated with growth hormone therapy. Thank you.